in this tutorial we are going to be going over the compound. This is your compound which rests on your cross slide. And what it's for is so that you can cut tapers and also uh, just basic chamfers. And this is one of the most common ways you actually put a taper on your part. There are other ways of using your power feed and a slide on the back and there are ways of offsetting centers but 90% of the time if you just have to add a chamfer or a, light ang a slight angle you're going to be using your compound. Now when I first started it confused me because it makes it kind of awkward using a compound because you can run out of travel. So what you need to do is go ahead and loosen everything. There are two nuts that will be at the base of your compound that you loosen either with an allen wrench or a crescent wrench. And there are numbers at the base of it engraved on the cross slide. Now this is not a part of your compound, these are just the angles that rest on top of the cross slide. There is a little mark on your compound that you line up with those numbers. So it goes from zero, let me loosen a little bit more. Alright, so you're, you're going to be going from zero to ninety. Now, if you haven't broken your compound loose in a while, it might be stuck, so just get a hammer and slightly tap on it until it breaks loose. Make sure you're nice and clean, try to get all the chips out of the way. And most of the time, you want to go ahead and preset the angle that you're going to be cutting before you start turning, that way you don't have to loosen anything. But let's say we want to put a 45 degree angle chamfer on our part that is in the, the chuck. What I'm going to do is I'm going to position the compound at 45 degrees so that when I'm cranking the compound it's actually moving away from my part towards me. And I'm going to show you guys why. And it all depends on what tool you're using. And if you're using boring bars, a right-handed tool, left-handed tool, so you, what you have to do is you have to think about it logically. Try to keep everything loose and play around with moving your, your insert close to your part and using the compound and, and try to imagine how it's going to cut your part. So I'm going to move it close to my part and I'm going to back my compound towards the center line so that way I have travel with my compound. So I'm just going to keep backing it off because the more I am towards the front, the less travel I'm going to have. And as you can see, the tip of my insert can move past the center line of my part, meaning that I can have the, as big a chamfer as I want. I can have a chamfer all the way to the center and create a 45 degree point. If you cannot do that and you do not have enough travel then you might be doing something wrong. So now that I have my tool post loose, my compound is at 45 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and tighten it down. Now we are going to have different tutorials such as the brass hammer project and we are going to be showing more examples of how to use the compound but this is just a very basic idea on how to put a 45 degree angle on your part. Now it might seem a little awkward having the compound on the other side of the lathe, but you'll be able to reach it and you'll be able to just cut with the tip of your insert. When it comes to turning, you want to make sure that as you're turning you're not dragging along any other faces. You want to make sure you have clearances. You don't want to be cutting on the tip of your insert and as you cut it's also cutting on the other side of your insert. So cutting with just the tip of the insert is going to ensure that just this point is cutting. Now I can angle it to where it's more rigid and it's cutting with some of the side of the insert and not just the tip. But in the end take light cuts if you, especially if you're first starting until you become more confident 
You want to make sure that your chuck isn't going to hit your compound and you want to tighten everything down. So let's say I'm satisfied with where this is at and I want to tighten this down. Again, I'm at 45 degrees. I'm on the right side of my zero on all the numbers that are engraved on the cross slide. I'm on the right side of them. So again, whenever I'm cranking the compound, I am moving the insert towards my direction, away from the part. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna zoom in on the part. And all I'm going to be doing is using the cross, or the compound, to cut that angle. So I have it on 720 spindle speed. And I'm just going to turn it on like I normally do. And then I use my DRO or I use my handle dial to move in and take a deeper cut. So how I go about taking a deeper cut is using my cross slide to move towards the center of my part. And that is all you need to do in order to create a chamfer on your part.